last time I said the voice on the radio is never your friend. What about me? Good old Floyd never steered you wrong. Are we pals? Huh? Am I your friend? Of course not. You don't know me. You don't know what I want from you. I say I want you to think for yourself. What if I want to make you feel like you already do? Know why someone wants you to think, and you'll know what they want you to think. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. We're really chugging through this one, actually. I'm also enjoying this series a lot. Maybe I'll do the other XCOM games, or I'll do... Um, I'll do another playthrough of this one and turn off the tutorial and do it as if it's just like a normal gameplay, not the actual story, and then let y'all decide some more stuff, like who we start with, for example, and then who we include and exclude from the team overall, who we start with. Maybe I'll do something like that because I really like playing this game. All right, I think we decided to do this one because it's going to give us the extra three days uh towards hidden yeah we this is what we did talk about when you search admin bunker to then find hidden faction target i remember that from the last episode uh i think i just edited it just edited edited that episode as well we have one projected encounter here so that should be a quick one i think i have everything as it's supposed to be make items available extra padding that's gonna yeah it's gonna go to him still because now he can actually be used as cover all the stuff i was talking before didn't actually apply yet um you can give him trank rounds trank rounds ceasefire trank rounds i don't know i feel like two trank rounds has been giving us enough people brought back anyway so maybe i should give him the medi patch and the ceasefire grenade disables weapons so it doesn't deal damage i think i'm fine with him carrying the ceasefire grenade instead of the frag grenade let me read that ability again though uh claymore regenerates a charge for carried grenades at the okay so i was just checking to make sure that it didn't count towards the uh the medi patch if it said equipment then the medi patch should be included in that but since it just says the it says grenade so that one's not included i got the sound so back i checked it before an alarm in this bunker Advent era schematics refer to a vault. Keep them out of it. I checked the sound before I started recording, so glad to see that it kept. Successful shots through here with crits. It's only one encounter, so we'll send Cherub in first. That way we have any aggressive enemies, we'll use his phalanx to pull all the shots towards him and he'll build up his charge that way. And then we'll go with... Oh, I don't know, I guess Godmother, then... Claymore than Terminal because these two we want to get the closer enemies which will usually have a higher percent hit because their guns are less accurate over range and then we have her who has a decently Reaching ranged in. weapon so how many only have one aggressive if I use Phalanx he doesn't get the shot that's the only downside with Phalanx is that it really only matters when you have a lot of aggressive enemies. Force aggressive enemies to target chair, blocking all damage and gain one charge for each attack. He would only gain one charge if we don't even kill that first. And we could take this shot and potentially... No, not that one. Take this shot and potentially kill right off the bat. He has 115 chance to crit, so I'm going to take that shot instead. Realizing that all shots through here will crit. Alright. Maybe we can clear this room on the first, uh, actually I don't think we can because we only have two shots left. If this hits and crits, I don't think it's gonna kill. Yeah, because he has armor. But Terminal can finish the job. Alright. Or Terminal cannot finish the job. And he's gonna do four damage. Alright. Great. Guess that's my fault for hoping Look, for something that's like that. how they're controlling access to the vault. Destroy it to lock them out. Okay. We're almost immediately going to use this medi patch on. No, I don't need to do that yet. I do need to hit the codex though. Alright, let's see where my aim is on the codex. Extremely low, but everyone else is even worse. I have a 100% chance to hit the thing that I came to do. Which I might be better off doing. 
the codex is closest to uh, Claymore, so we're gonna give him the shield and hope that we've done the right thing here. And then we're gonna take the shot on the door. And we have to destroy the vault door to stop reinforcements. Interesting how they moved further away. I wonder what the next. Oh, forgot that they have this. So that means their weapons are disabled, so I should probably start moving people out of that range. It doesn't look like I'll get cover from that enemy, but I think I'm still going to do this. I think disabling weapon means that I have to, to reload it also. I think it's the only downside to this. So we're going to move him out of this range. Yeah, because we don't want to stay in here. Right? Moving. Check your fire. I have one action available. He's out of range of that. So Cherub is going to be the only one left in range once the, uh, once that, uh, goes off. If it goes off on the next turn. Uh, pause. Give me one second. All right, okay. Something I noticed while this was uh, paused is View XCOM Handbook. You can get, I guess, a lot of different, uh, well, I guess it's all the tutorial points that they mention. So maybe that's if you're playing without the tutorial. Anyways, Cherub is probably gonna be the only one left inside of this uh, zone once, uh, depending on when their turn is. And I'm trying to get an angle that gets, yeah, the Acolyte. That way. Grenade out. Although I don't think they have a gun, so I don't think. Yeah, that was actually a waste. I didn't need to do that. I should have just thrown the shot and a grenade somewhere. Probably in the same spot if I can get it. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't hit Godmother also. Might be better off just reloading actually. I'll do that instead instead of trying Ignition to get some weird angle. Off. And she's probably gonna do something to Godmother, cause... or that, which I don't know what did. Probably brought them up in the turn order. So, there's okay. Cherub's damage. They actually walked. Interesting. Stand. That's what matters. Man, they got a lot you of moves the in this <laughs> in that turn. So I need to take out one of those two at this point. But I need to use her to. Heal. Terminal coordinates with a nearby unimpaired ally to grant them an, un an immediate bonus action. So I'm going to use that on, I think, Cherub to give someone a shield. I set him up, you knock him down. And then, oh, it happens right now. Kinetic shield on. You can't see Godmother? That's annoying. Uh. No, use the kinetic shield. I, for some reason, he can't see Godmother, even though she is. I guess she is slightly behind that. Whatever, I guess. Um, I can't take a shot, so I'm gonna use this turn to reload. Then. Reloaded. And then, now I can heal Godmother back up. And. Now we can move Cherub to here, and put another kinetic shield on Godmother. Now we can put it where we wanted it. And then I'm going to take the shot. No, I don't have the shot. Okay. I kind of want to move up here, and if I put her right next to one of these two, she's going to almost... She almost has a 100% chance to crit, except for she doesn't have an action right now. If only I could take that move back. Hmm. Let's see. Well. Movement. I can move again to get her out of this spot, or I could try and hit her with a subdue. Which I think I'm going to do anyways. I forgot she has that, uh, that impact frame. Still up. So... <laughs> That's not bad overall, actually. His um, his movement being so low is incredibly annoying. 
because I can't move him anywhere, any decent spot really. Like I can get him right here, and I don't know, throw a grenade in there I guess. But then they can just move away from this grenade, it doesn't actually mean anything. I can shoot them with the shotgun. No, I need to... I forgot all about this thing actually, so let's do that. Embrace the silence. Kinetic shield? Okay, I guess she healed herself up. But that gave charge to Cheryl, which is pretty good actually. Now it's the Codex turn, who's probably gonna hit... Is the Kinetic shield still on that? I think it just kept her from taking the damage. Right? It looks like it's still there. No they just missed. I don't know I don't know what happened there. Then but now Cherub is still damaged. But who can you see? I could do this and then Godmother can finish that off if this hits. Where can you move to? Can you get an angle on the you might be able to from here so I'm gonna start damaging this codex uh, okay you can't see a damn thing from here we're getting terrible angles right now let's hope the codex doesn't teleport again and we can use overwatch right there cherub now can you shield bash anyone you can't we can move you here I'm going and you have your charge. I'm hoping that I can get someone close enough to um, to him that he can uh, use his shield bash. What is that? Is that going to hit Godmother? It is. Alright, well let's just give... I can't tell if Godmother has a shield right now or not. It looks like she doesn't. So, place an energy shield. Unsell for allies to prevent all damage for the next attack. Let's do this again because she still has the least amount of cover right now. And he's gonna go into guards. So he's gonna have the ranged increase. I should reload her gun. Or I should use team up actually to bring Cherub. Yeah, I'll use it on Cherub. That way he can take another turn again and hopefully he can get a shield bash off. And I want to do this again. Push the wrong buttons. I'm gonna do this again from right here. Failed to subdue. All right. So it's Cherub's turn. How likely is he to hit that shot? Very low. Hopefully he has a better chance from this angle. Take the shot. 57% chance. I'm gonna go for it, honestly. Yeah. Hostile out of play. Well done. And. I'm gonna be a little bold here. I probably shouldn't be, knowing like how much damage I've already taken. And it's a hundred percent chance to hit. I think we're, we're very likely to crit right here, so we're gonna hope for the crit. Yeah, there it is. That should have killed, right? No. Is it split still? It doesn't. Who's? It can't see anyone from there. Or at least, oh, maybe Godmother. But that's fine through the kinetic shield. And then whose turn will it be next? Maxed out. He's maxed out on charges now too. I kind of want to get Cherub to to use his thing. Need a little help? You didn't have to do that. So we'll have this heal, and then we'll Overwatch right here. I'm gonna waste these moves pretty much just so I can show Cherub's thing at full. Uh, charge or at least the current full charge i think it Reloaded. goes up in charges when he levels up that would make sense because otherwise it'd be kind of pointless especially if you can give out four shields okay so now is the shield charge you see it goes to a further range than we showed last time uh i think this direction is the safest because we do it this way we'll hit terminal and possibly deal damage yeah from any angle but right here yeah critical shot target. six damage so it's pretty good for what is supposed to be a subdue, which usually does like two damage. What's happening? I was going to say we're done with this mission, right? Okay. So now we're going to the next one. Uh, I'm finna sneeze. So, Mikul, we cracked into one of the 
underground vaults back in 33 really wish we hadn't go, what did you find we thought it was food at first a big vat of it looked like chocolate but smelled of formaldehyde we were about to take a sample then when it sprouted eyes everywhere eyes what was it 30 faceless give or take 30 faceless give or take from tales of defiance a living history of resistance network all right uh why is that critical has asked me to witness your adoption paperwork i signed oh cool it's finally coming through how did you meet your parents they found me in the clone tube i'm actually the reason they're together <laughs> how so they felt responsible so they kept in touch during my processing tied the knot last year i'm not surprised you have a talent for bringing people together all right, so I have this emergency mission right here with the Anarchy. Chimera Squad, the City Council asked me to contact you directly about a sensitive matter. The simple fact is that 3-1-PD is unequipped to deal with certain emergency situations. We've hired mercenaries in the past, but the results have been adequate at best. Mayor Nightingale assured us you were here to protect City 31 from harm. So prove it. I want you on call for emergencies that require your unique skill set. The City Council will be watching. So this has gone critical because it's full of unrest right now. Uh, unrest in the district has reached a boiling point. Unknown hostiles are openly fighting in the streets. We must intervene as soon as possible to restore civil order. There might be a codex at this mission still because of the dark event that we got. And then it'll bring minus two unrest to uh, the heights. And I can't do any. I kind of want to do this situation, but I can't right now. So we do have to deal with this... Um, this mission pretty much right now it's probably going to be a super long one too so it's probably where the video is going to end but we almost have the enhanced pistols her training is almost done her first training is almost done at least uh i think that that's it right unrest has changed is there anything i can get from the supply shop enhanced armor plus two plus one utility slot I could buy this, but it also might be better if I just save up to get the get the masterwork armor instead of buying this one because I don't even think I'm gonna get it four of them before I have the next level of armor. Saying that though, I'm not sure, so maybe I should just go ahead and get it when I get enough. If I get enough before I buy something else, though. But let's see. We didn't get any promotions. Um, I guess I'm gonna go do this mission because I mean there's really there makes no sense to do anything else if you see a theft call it into 31 PD and move on but there is one notable exception hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene don't let them escape okay he has nothing on his pistol maybe we should buy some supplies for him His pistol has a decent amount of ammo, actually, so maybe a, a maybe a, well, I don't know, a stock? One damage from his shots, but we have better stocks, so I don't want to get that. I guess an auto loader would be something. How much does this cost? 40? We have it, so might as well. This will leave Cherub over the taking. Actually, no, I don't want him taking more shots. At least he doesn't need to be taking more shots because... He has his shield and all that. I don't know. Maybe I will give it to him just so he has the ability to reload and then give out a shield and still shoot and all that. So basically, he gives him an extra move on his turn. Spotted dangerous contraband. Hostiles on the move. Alright, I have to get up and blow my nose. So, there's that. First, you know, through this entrance, will have their weapon disabled. That's fine for Cherub. Uh, immediately. So, Terminal, Godmother, Claymore. It's funny, I gave him that auto load and then immediately have his weapon disabled. Is this the order? No, again, I want Claymore before the Terminal because Stay of the range me. of the weapons. Alright, what we got going on in here? We have one aggressive. 
you have one aggressive resonant and then the rest are those two are surprised and we have an alert bruiser in the distance that's going to be annoying because i know what he's going to be able to do but maybe we should take the shot on the codex not even maybe actually i'm going to you have a hundred percent chance on that acolyte or the codex we'll take the hundred percent on the acolyte because i'm pretty sure we'll kill yeah okay so we take them out we have a hundred percent there and an 80 here an 80 percent chance we could kill with this okay perfect oops hit my mic again all right uh i can spread the damage out or i can take i'm gonna take them out actually did i kill it did okay so now we just have the Darn it. i think the no bruise is the only one left right who's gonna be first up i think i'm gonna try and run cherub in there to be uh, a, a human shield basically so i'm gonna give him a kinetic shield and then get him as close as possible even shield bash if i can actually which i will do that 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 almost went terribly it. wrong i'm surprised he just ran actually although it does make sense um shit actually i need to get people in there to shoot him we don't want anyone escaping in this mission prevent enemies from escaping is ah fuck i made him dash on accident didn't i all right so i guess i'll bring her over to here and we can add a hope that she hits her shots really at this point if she does hit her shot though to kill 100 percent chance so yeah Target down. no one's gonna add our side N not at all he tried to make a run for it claimer didn't do much there that's not his thing though let's be honest uh there are fewer aggressive enemies to this point frazier with this entrance has plus three damage during the breach fewer enemies I think Terminal and Godmother are going to go through here. And then over here we'll have Cherub and Claymore. Terminal's going there because she can get in there. Godmother's going with her because Godmother has the least amount of health. Cherub's going through here because he can take all the damage from the aggressive enemies. And then Claymore has his shotgun. It's go time. There's really no, really no reason for Claymore to be here. That's really why I could only be with the shotgun. Need me to get the door? Yes, she does. All right, so everyone's surprised from here. We have two aggressive enemies that uh, Cherub can hopefully take the damage from. We can take out the Thrall completely right now. Okay. Godmother has a chance to take them out completely. Did it kill? It didn't. Cherub could, because we're not going to kill that. And we have a chance to kill that i think we do all the damage but i think this might be a better move because we'll pull in those two shots uh or at least one of those shots and block it completely and that leaves you with the ability to do this with no yep there we go and he's hollow targeted now why are you still out there you do Charge your up. best to stay the furthest away from battle and it's so annoying how slow he moves. Okay, they're trying to leave and number two is trying to leave. I think number two is already damaged, isn't he? What we want to do for number two game, come on. Let's not let's not act brand new about it. If I get right here, number four potentially has a free shot on her. But if I get, well, I think if it's saying if I get right here, they have a clear shot Moving. on me. Cover me. Although I don't know if I have cover from Keep that other cover. dude. I do want to get as close as possible to this enemy to try and get this 100% chance, high crit chance. Barely just for you to still not kill. I hate you so much. Terminal. It's fine though. They didn't take the shot, which is interesting. Uh, subdue. Who's trying to leave now? Number two? Number two is trying to leave. Who do we have the best shot on? Number seven. Or well, I can move up on number two. Why don't I have cover from here? I do have cover from here, though, so I'm going to go there. If I didn't have cover from there, it would have been from... Oh, I forgot about the brute. forgot all about that brute. Okay, now you have a 100% chance, high crit chance. 
And they turned their back as you shot too, so that all worked out right there. Gives us more room to move. Uh I'm gonna have you give a kinetic shield to to Godmother because she's the one who's likely to take damage here. And then I'm going to have you shield bash the brute. Shield bash. I can only ha shield bash the brute from this angle. So yeah, there you see he got the two charges from those two hits he absorbed uh, through failing. So that was pretty good. And then yeah, actually, I'm just gonna do this one real quick. So that was a pretty good encounter actually. I don't know if they got any official turns. Come on, do the check. Oh, we have to prevent enemies from escaping throughout all of them, I guess. Since that's never gone green. Okay, maybe we have Claymore lead through. And he can use... Oh, he can't use... He doesn't have anything. First unit through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach. He doesn't have his breach point thing. So, next up will be Godmother. Then... Cherub for his hollow targeting in the terminal. I don't remember if terminal again. also has hollow targeting actually. I think she does. I did I just saw this happen, so she does. Interesting. I don't remember what that thing is called. I don't like how it tried to skip over that. Like it didn't just show us some Yeah. And Arkin? Arkin? I don't remember what they do. Um I have a hundred percent chance on you, fifteen percent chance to crit. I'm gonna take that shot. Because if I can take that codex clean out. What else do I have here? An Acolyte and uh, Thrall are aggressive. Yeah, I'm hoping to take this Codex out clean. Okay. I'm gonna deal some damage to these aggressive enemies. Only a 73 there, so let's hope for a clean take here. Alright, cool. I forgot how low damage you did. your gun does. That's why we're having you hit, please. I knew you was going to miss it as soon as you started looking all over the place. Alright, well. Hopefully we can take them out. Okay, cool. So no one's getting a shot off on us in this round. We took out all the... See that target? Yeah. Okay, we have to take out both of them before they can escape. First thing I want you to do, dog, right near right now, is take out both of their weapons. Throwing grenade. And we see they were fighting. Damn, it would have been better if I had played all these other XCOM games before I did this one. But uh, I'm not in the, the XCOM community like that, I guess. To have known that I needed to do that. Shrapnel, out. I've seen this thing before. We're going to fight them later on in the game. Um, oh, I could have set that up better to deal damage to both of them. I wasn't thinking because I forgot the, uh, the grenade doesn't actually take... Um, take your turn. It doesn't take a point at your turn or cost an action. All right, I can do six to seven damage, or I can shred your armor with this grenade. I think I want to do that. That way, everyone else can do more damage. So we lo he lost one of his armors. This thing has two armor. Damn, that thing moves fast. I was gonna move on both his turns, so that one escaped, I guess. Oh, I almost escaped. I could. Use team up on. I think Cherub has the most. Actually, no. I'm gonna move Godmother up to here. Impact frame, right? So I can do this. Hostile subdued. I move Cherub over to here. All right. And then we use team up on. Godmother. Yeah. That doesn't give her a turn right now. So then he's gonna overwatch the Arkin. And he's gonna hunker down and then flush out. Godmother takes a shot at an enemy, forcing them to reposition. The shot does, do, does no damage, turn one cooldown. So we're gonna flush them out it's to force them to cover. move. You forced to retreat. And you missed your shot. God damn it. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. That leaves that's gonna leave us having to rely on terminal. Come at us, dog. 
Uh, maybe not like that, though. I don't know. Is this taking action? Terminal coordinates with a nearby unimpaired ally to grant them an immediate bonus action. I'm gonna move them up to here first. Uh, I could cooperate with one of them, but it's not gonna give them an action. I wanna give it to him so he can move up a little closer uh, with his slow ass. Move over to here. Finding a better spot. I'm really getting on to all of them because he missed the shot that I wanted him to hit. She missed the easy shot. He's just slow all the time. Okay. Hopefully I do this right. Because he says if I throw this first, it doesn't take a skill. I'll take a move. It did. Which is annoying. So now I have a chance to deal... Five to seven there, or that thing, which will deal four damage guaranteed. This thing has four health plus the armor. So it might be better off taking this shot and hoping for a hit. Plus the hobbits are yes sir. And no one's getting out of this mission. Alright. Archon was killed. Yeah, everyone's unharmed too. 20 intel from the nine captured enemies. Alright, alright. That wasn't that bad. I think we have time for another mission before we go. The assembly for enhanced pistols complete. Zypher finished their first uh, training. Unrest in the fringe has gone up. And unrest in Renova Heights came down. We used to call the place Shankville. It was outside the walls so Advin didn't care what went on. I'm glad the city council leveled the place and built something new. Don't know if I'm fancy enough to live in Renova Heights, but I can walk down the street without someone killing me for my dental work. Definite improvement. Set of Bugtown, a local guide to City 31. Hi, Zephyr. Question for you. It's Zephyr. And stop making fun of my accent. No, I bask in it. It's my favorite of all accents. Get stuffed. Wait, I, I didn't get to ask my... Oh... Crikey. Uh, okay, terminal is just an asshole, straight up. All right, you completed your training, and we're gonna give you, we're gonna put you right back into training, I think. Yeah. Then we're gonna pull someone else off the team and have them train up. New supply item, enhanced pistols cost 125. We have 70, so we'll be able to get those in the next transition actually maybe if i saved that money from last time i did spend 40 i think i would have had enough with that no i would have been just shot i would have been more annoyed if i did that actually all right new supply enhanced pistols um i guess the next thing to go for would be uh enhanced submachine guns for a terminal because she's in the she's in the most missions right now over verge and his assault rifle all right, so now this will give us advanced stock, minus two unrest in the heights, and 35 intel. Or we have tracer rounds, which we don't, oh wait, no, tracer rounds we don't have. We do have trank rounds. But I don't see a reason in doing this one. This one can bring down the unrest to zero, but that one's going to go up to two. I need to use this on Renova Heights also, because... Um, that's kind of getting out of hand at this point. So we'll send the APC here. This is an actual mission, right? Not a situation. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah. I think that, that that's what we're going to do. I can freeze the unrest here so it doesn't go up. But I don't see a point in doing that. Requires a field team in every uh, reduced city anarchy. Gain extra situation reward. One or more field teams at rank three. All right. Can I build another uh, field team? What's today? Where is it at? Monday? So we just missed it. Well, really, it's been passed. But let's see. I have three more field teams to build. I need a lot of credits right now. Uh, do I want to spend this intel right now, though? Oh, uh, the scavenger market's here. Good thing I, st I stopped and checked. Now let's just turn 40 intel into 50 illyrium. We're not really hurting for illyrium right now. Superior magazine, clip size is up by 3, increased aim by 10. Hmm. 
I might take that increased aim just so we'll miss less shots. And we're gonna do this mission, right? Because this brings it down by two, but this does nothing for it. And this gives us more intel also. So I think overall this one's gonna be better. All right, we'll give him the stock, the scope, which will increase his aim to 83. Hers is 82, so her aim was worse overall. But I think because his thing does so little damage, it makes more sense to have him doing... Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. If she's more... We need to make her more likely to because she does more damage. Um, otherwise, everyone else is fine. I forgot she had this mock weave, which increases her um, dodge while she's been getting missed so often. All right, let's get into it. Spotted the contraband. Recover as able. All right. Is this one encounter or two? I assume it's one of those and not a three encounter. First unit through this entrance will have the weapon disabled. Last unit through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach. Entrance will have the weapon disabled. All units entering have plus 25 aim during the breach. The last thing you through here has the weapon disabled. Cherub can reload for free. Godmother, terminal, cherub. And disabled essentially means that you have to reload entering. the weapon. That was terrifying. <laughs> the, the floating face. All right. Resonant. Sorcerer. Bruiser. We're gonna take the shot on the resonant, I think, because we might be able to take them out. Yep. Okay. We can take out the thrall. We can do a decent damage to the sorcerer. We can do a decent damage to the bruiser. Uh the sorcerer or the bruiser? I think we're more likely to get to the sorcerer, so I'm gonna go for that shot. 81 on the bruiser. 88 on the sorcerer. So I'm gonna take that shot and try to get them out of here. And everyone had 100% shot on you, so really it's just a matter of doing four damage like we're supposed to. So that all worked out. When we have the bruiser to deal with now, we've been managing to keep him away from doing his ability that I don't want to see him do. Look at them hanging. Oh, hang on a second. Look at them hanging right there. I don't know how their body, because we shot from this angle, so I don't know how the bodies keep fly, flopping around like this. Uh, we'll drop a ceasefire grenade on you right now. Throwing grenade. Yeah, one of two encounters. Go ahead and hold that. Interesting. Looked like it didn't do anything. Kind of upset at uh, seeing that. Okay. My target. Great. You got the. Almost. Can you reposition? And then you you're gonna get shot. So you really did nothing with your turn. You somehow your grenade didn't hit. Um. Yeah. Kind of useless there, Changing buddy. Clem was quickly that becoming my you. least favorite right now because of his low mobility and he always misses in the most inopportune times. Target armor deflected the shot. Can we find a weak spot? And we can't make it over to there. I don't know if I should stop and collect that evidence. It'll give us extra Illyrium, I believe, but no one can really get it right now. <laughs> you see that? Will it automatically give it to us? I don't think so. Textbook. Oh, we did. I said collect evidence in the corner, so we did get it automatically for clearing this area. And at this point... First unit through this entrance have their weapon disabled. First unit through the entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. Like, we're going to give it to you because you're already low on health. She's going to go in second. We'll send the terminal in. You're going to use refresh instead of your shot. And then cherub. Then we can heal back some of that damage that uh he took, uh, Claymore took. I'm getting his name right now, too. Not calling him Shrat. All right. All right. You're aggressive. I want to take this shot on you. Didn't kill, but that's fine. Fire the shotgun during the breach and gain an initiative boost and one bonus action on the first turn. Okay, we're going to do that. You're hollow targeted, but you only have one health. But you're going to take a shot. But I can use failings. Okay, there. That's the decision. 
Or I can use this. If we have a bruiser over here who's alert. And then they're all in the distance. I think we want to take them out. I was gonna say, if you don't if you don't aim that gun before you shoot, I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, thrall. I can't use phalanx. No target available, because I took out the aggressive enemy. Oop, took away my arrow for a second. Alright, I can take out the hitman or I can take out the thrall. Actually I can no, I can take out the hitman or the thrall. I'm gonna go for the thrall. Oh. He's good at hitting his shots and dealing with the maximum amount of damage. Target. Once you have it, leave. Okay. Let's see if this ceasefire grenade will do what it's supposed to do this time. It's gonna hit both of them. Grenade out. There, both of their weapons are disabled. So this time it actually worked. And then we have you in the distance who we couldn't see during the breach. Uh, the bruiser will be up first. I'm gonna destroy all the cover in that area. I didn't really think about that before I threw that grenade. I can take you out. Or I can take a shot at you. I think we're gonna... No, I can have Godmother take them out. Actually, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a shot on the bruiser. It's a low chance, but I'm going to take it anyways. Yeah, it worked out. Okay. Hit. And he's hollow target now, armor. too. So she has... We need to punch through. Let me use team up on someone here. Let me use team up on Cherub. Give himself the shield and then move into that area. Because the shield will keep him from damage. I think I just moved her in range of that bomb, actually. What is wrong with me? Okay, shoot it. Okay, she's fine. All right, cool. We have a high chance of hitting you. We can take you straight out. There's someone else in here. I can't ever get an angle on them. Number four? No, number six. Interesting. He has a troop away in the back, but we can't do anything to them. I don't know, if we take out the hit hitman, they won't get their turn, so that's the better move here. Take out the hitman. I'm gonna move Cherub up to... Yeah, I'm gonna move Cherub over to here. Sorry if I'm sniffing into the mic. I have the sniffles today. I have bad allergies. Open closed chest. All right, secure the cab case. All right, where's the exit? All right, that's pretty good actually. We don't even have to cross go across this bridge all the way. And where's the explosive range at? Still not gonna hit any of us, and it's, that thing's gonna die on the next turn. So if I can hit that one in the distance, it would be nice. Of course you didn't. Uh, so close. Moved a little bit too quickly there, buddy. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to use Cooperate on, I think Godmother has the lower of the two, um, uh, mobility. So we're going to put it right here. On the move. I'm here if you need me. And we'll use Safeguard on him. He's the furthest the forward. Spray do its work. So we want to get his best. defense up. That's what we're doing here is raising his defense. Because eradicating, they were likely okay. to take a shot at him. Just banged up. And then we're gonna we have, we're gonna have enemies coming through here. So maybe I want to throw this grenade as far in as possible, and just leave it there, because it's gonna go off on its own eventually. Uh, I can't see where he can go. That's gonna give him cover from that area. Alright, Godmother's close enough to get out, because, so I'm fine with leaving her right here. That's not what I wanted. I want to put her in Overwatch over this area. Then, that grenade's going to go off before anything comes to the door, so that was kind of a waste, actually. 
Let's see. I can get him back to here at least. And we'll give a kinetic shield to someone. Where is terminal at? This one's terminal then. She's the furthest away. I feel like she's going to be kind of stuck. That might have been better to give to Claymore though. Because I feel like he's probably going to take a shot. More likely than terminal will at least. Mm, yeah, I'm stepping into the mic on accident. I ain't even gonna act like I'm, I don't know it. Target in sight. This dude is landing all of his shots right now. You still stand. That's what matters. And they didn't come far enough for it to get caught in the um, Overwatch. We're even moving the right angles to do so. Do I even want to bother with this grenade again? I know it goes off pretty early in the turn. Shrapnel out. Shrapnel in play. Watch your step. Yeah, I should have just uh should have just had it move. I'm gonna use preparation here though. That way his turn comes a little bit earlier than it would normally. And with her, I'm gonna keep moving back some. Actually, I don't. I don't want to put her in terminal, not terminal, chair up next to each other for when I use the medi patch. Can you take a shot on anyone? You might be able to take out the trooper. You could shoot that, but that's not going to do anything to anyone. So we might as well take this 54% chance with the shot. Yeah, and take them out. I wonder what, when they come back to get these people's bodies. Because we're making them unconscious, so it's not like we're leaving with them right now as we go. And then we'll use the medi patch. Hopefully, this will. Uh, it doesn't heal both of them. She's taking more there, damage. There. I was hoping it was going to be an AoE because it looked like it would have been. Yeah, we can't do anything to them. It's a him really with Cherub. So we might be better off giving a shield to another person. Himself, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think he's more likely to take a shot at this point. Plus, we don't want him to take any more damage than he already has. His guard is up and everything, though. All right. I mean, we could dash all the way to here. Hmm. I'm going to dash to here, yeah. And then I'm going to try to get uh, Claymore over to here also. Now on the next turn, I'm bringing everybody out on their next turns. As long as the resonant doesn't grab anyone. I think that's a resonant, right? Just take a shot. Yeah, perfectly fine. No with impact. That. Covering flanks. And well you hit you've been dealing some pretty good damage this whole time. Yeah, good thing we gave that kinetic shield to her. I was gonna beat myself up if it was Claymore took the shot. But uh it looks like we're fine at I'm this point low. we can move everyone out because we have all of our turns back to back. Evac. Go. And that, was, that wasn't bad overall, actually. We did take a position. lot more damage than I would have wanted to. Evac. Go. But, um, I mean, you can't always be... You can't always do them uh, unharmed like I did in the last mission, so it's fine. And she had her cooperation back, too, right on time. All right, let's get out of here. Moving. I think in the next Check episode that... uh. The, um, that purple mission, the story mission is going to be done. Yeah, we had a lot of wounded people, so, but we still got an excellent on the mission. Maybe because we finished all the extra objectives that we were supposed to. So that's fine. It's <sighs> a lot of mucus in my nose right now. Hopefully I catch most of the sniffs. Um, uh, sorry if I don't. If you... If you go nowhere else during your time in City 31, do take time to visit Highland Square. With convenient access to both local and regional travel, the square is the best that City 31 revitalized industry has to offer. New products locally made come preview what the global economy could be. Interesting. I, th I thought it was going to give us new ones every time, but... Oh, it does say from the archive, so I guess so. So we got the advanced stock, minus 2 on rest there, 35. Evidence collected was 50 Illyrium, 20 Intel captured. Unrest in the fringe has gone up. I think that's where the um. Ooh. The progeny uses psionic tampering of witness memories to escape, but to where? They must have a network of safe houses. Find them and remove them from the board. All right. 
So. Ooh, we got a lot of promotions so, in that one. So, your question from earlier. Before you got testy about your accent. I wasn't. Just ask your question. Could you, uh, could you read this word to me? Aloud. What in the world is a Jabberwock? Oh, you said it. Oh, you said it. So much better than I imagined. Shouldn't have bothered. Yeah, shouldn't have bothered. That's kind of a giveaway on Zyper's part. All right. We have a situation here that we might as well do. I'm gonna, I want to put on the unrest in Renova Heights because I don't like it just sitting at three for no reason. Because um, even if we get a mission there, I can pull it down by two. We'd still have one. Uh, but do I want to spend the intel like that? I don't have anything. I think intel is mostly used to make these teams. So maybe I should go ahead and upgrade it. But if I do the 80 there, we'll have enough to build another field team. Because I kind of feel like we need another one soon. I won't. I won't have enough. Uh, um, um, damn. I kind of want to pull this down, but I don't see a point in doing it. Because I know it's going to come by, down by two anyways. It's going to come... I can bring it down by four, actually. Because I have a rank two team there. So I could bring it all the way down to zero, but I don't see a reason in doing that quite yet. But I can bring this one down to zero, which might have a better reason for it. Uh, this is difficult. These ones, the 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 field team abilities are probably harder to decide when to use than the actual missions. But let's get these promotions done now. So we have a lot of people reaching special agents, so we can be switching out and training them now. Uh, Godmother fires a shotgun blast that is guaranteed to hit and destroy the target's cover. Costs three ammo, and so at this point we might want to give Godmother the uh, auto loader because she has uh, not alpha strike, not flush either. She has scatter shot. Does two takes two ammo. Disability takes three ammo. Her shotgun right now only carries three shots. Uh, but that move right there sounds like Godmother fires a shotgun blast that is guaranteed to hit and destroy the targets covered. So that's opening them up for damage from everyone else. So maybe at this point I should switch out her gun, take off the impact frame, and then give her the auto loader from Cherub. I'll look into that in the next mission. Hopefully I remember these things. Uh, didn't mean to back all the way out to here. Take me back in. Claymore. Now he's level 3. Promotion to rank special agent and like sticky grenade. Claymore throws a grenade that adheres to an, en an enemy causing them to fall back to a new location. When the unit stops running the grenade explodes. That's pretty cool also. I think it makes sense that we didn't give him trank rounds because he's literally blowing people to pieces at this point. Yeah that's pretty cool. And then we have Cherub. Uh, Cherub can now store three charges and gain bonus mobility when fully charged. That's cool, I guess, but that's that's definitely the worst of the three that we just got. Because all it's saying is you hold an extra charge, which I knew he would get. I didn't know additionally it wasn't going to be that much. And then when you fully charge, you have better mobility, which makes sense so you can get up to enemies faster and use up that uh, charge. But you also made it harder to gain the charges. So... She has one day left on this situation. I think at that point, I'm going to pull out someone who's uh, promoted three times and uh, put in Zypher. Uh, I need to go to the armory. I can't remember if she's... She is... Okay, so everyone is... Uh, hang on. Promoted. Promotion. Agent abilities. Three. Two. You're still at two, which makes sense because you've gone on six missions and only gotten two kills. Okay, I knew you would be high because I like using you. You're probably going to be the next one to be pretty high too. Um, okay. So maybe it's time to put Verge back in. I don't know though because we haven't been training his psionics for real. I feel like he's going to take off in the next uh, set of missions. Or the next um, faction that we take on. But Zyber's going to come back in and I think Shrapnel's going to come out. Because he's been on a lot of missions back to back. But Cherub also takes a lot of damage. I don't know. That's kind of his thing, though, is taking damage. So, who knows there. But we have you being trained up. We should have new uh, spec ops now, right? The next item you buy in the scavenger market would be free, which requires a special agent or higher. So, yeah. 
requires one or more technology field teams at rank two. So we start unlocking more spec ops missions, the more, um, what you call it, we have. Do we have enough? No, we haven't gotten any credits. So, of course, we don't have enough. All right, at this point, I think I have everything set up how I want it to. And we're going to go ahead and do the situation. Anonymous tip suggests that nondescript apartment is a stash house for connect stash house connected to our current investigation. Through MPD request reclamation back up their planned raid. All right. Sending the APC. You proceed. Okay. Thankfully, there was no opposition at the stash, but still 3-1-PD is grateful for our assistance. Cypress completed her basic training. So now, as we said... That's critical mission. <laughs> so I think we're going to go ahead and take that out now. Is this going to cost their unrest to go up? It looks like it won't. It seems like the yellow missions won't cost the unrest to go up. But the, the blue ones will. And the purple ones will for sure. I think. It doesn't, it doesn't have the flat. Oh, now it has the flashing thing. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take this one out because at this point, if it goes up any higher, it's going to start going into our city anarchy, which we don't want going up at all, especially at the point where we can't bring it back down. So, yeah, investigate progeny presence will be the next thing that we do. The first thing that we do in the next mission, we're going to be putting Zypher back onto the team and probably swapping out either Cherub or Claymore, actually. I'm not sure yet. Maybe it'll be Claymore because that'll diversify our weapons in the mission. So we bring out Claymore. She has plus two health. And Claymore can get more health and his armor is increased by one. That would be pretty good actually for him. He takes a lot of shots. Plus he's a bigger, slower character anyways. So if he has more armor, I can probably start ragging on him as much about having so little or being kind of feeling useless sometimes, even though he's not. I rolled my eyes as I said that because obviously he's not useless, but it's annoying how little he moves. But the armor will reduce how much I'm talking about them. I spent a long time talking after that mission, but that's going to be all for this one. We have a plan for the next mission. I'm enjoying this series a lot, so I'm gonna definitely probably going to look into doing the rest of the XCOM games, even though I'll be going backwards by doing the one that's after all of those wars. But whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Follow the social medias in the description below. Um, bye.